Right now, the biggest story in the world is happening in Qatar. And this World Cup has a bit of a St. Louis flair for the Americans, who need a win on Tuesday against Iran to advance. So who better to sit down and talk it all over with than Mr. St. Louis soccer, Bill McDermott. Let's talk about Team USA and yep. first our two local guys, Josh Shards and Tim Ream. Not only both St. Louis area guys, both St. Dominic High School guys. You know better than anyone. Put into context how crazy this is. What are the chances of that <laughs> transpiring for a country as immense as the United States? And in particular about Tim Ream because he had not played in the qualification process for 12, 13, 14 months. Having started the first two games in which these played, he hasn't put his foot wrong. He has not put a step wrong. He's perfect out of the backfield. He's good on set pieces. Gives you a quality ball out of the backfield. Josh gets a start in the first game, comes on late in the second game. And that has been a little bit, a little bit of the hindrance of the United States so far in this World Cup. Only one goal so far. So with their next game that's going to be played on Tuesday, which is mandatory that they win, goals have to come to get the three points. As far as Team USA goes, what have you liked? What have you not liked? Uh, is anything surprising so far? Draw against two draws so far. Yeah. Is that kind of what you expected? Uh, pretty much somewhat, simply because you can, maybe you can capsulize this team as the redeemed team, if you will, because they were not in the World Cup in 2018, not having qualified. And this is, this World Cup, the first game they played, this was the first World Cup game for any of these players, even Tim Ream himself. So yeah, this is pretty much what I expected. It's difficult at this level, the way defenses are stacked, absolutely stacked against teams. Ghana, we may know that we can't play with Ronaldo and his other young players from Portugal, so we're gonna play five in the back. Now, to Portugal's, to Portugal's detriment, they thought they could still find Ronaldo on the backfield. They couldn't, there's five defenders. So we're gonna see that, but what I see from this United States team is some of their younger players, extremely young team, who are playing for teams of real pedigree around the world, do an excellent job. If they're not able to get a win against Iran on Tuesday and move on to the next round, is that a big disappointment? Or you mentioned this young team, is it good for experience or a little both? A, a little bit of both. Uh, it's not, not a failure, uh, but it is by all means a huge disappointment. However, this bodes extremely well because they will be in their prime World Cup years for 2026 when the World Cup is held in the United States, Mexico, and Canada. I'm wondering, let's, let's throw it back a little bit now. We're going to talk some hometown soccer, the City Park opening in their first international friendly. I just want to know what your reaction was. Stepping in there for the first time, first game, seeing the place packed, it just had to be an overwhelming sense of pride. Absolutely fabulous. And if it's going to happen in any city in the United States, it should happen in St. Louis, Corey. You start your season, you christen your stadium by playing a team, Bayer Leverkusen, from the Bundesliga. Nobody else does that. We've got the World Cup. We know the ratings are going to be huge here. We've got two local kids playing in the mm -hmm, World Cup mm -hmm. for Team USA. Slew men, slew women, both national powerhouses right now. We've got City Park debut. Is this the best time for St. Louis soccer in its history? This is the consummate because of all the things you just related, Corey. The birthplace of the popularity of the sport in our country is St. Louis, and it's only justifiable that all these things happen in the city of St. Louis. He's the best. That's Bill McDermott, Mr. Soccer, and we'll be right back with more Sports Plus.